All right. Okay, Halloween. I'm supposed to do something here, our astrolab. On the floor was an ornate device for navigating across the stars. Okay, Halloween. Mr. Map on the Mercedes. The floor of the observatory was decorated with the 64 signs of the zodiac. They were all here. The celestial parsnip, the cow of heaven, the knotted string, even Okjok the salesman. <laughs> oh, let's free on our man. Do I have a man? Oh, he's a map. I looked at the star map and back to the mosaics. The map seemed to include a constellation. All I had to do was find out which one and tell the golem to move the telescope to look at it. Well, it was a plan of sorts. I suppose the small, boring group of faint stars might have been on the map, but if they were, they'd been drawn much brighter than they really were. Swing the telescope around to face the small, boring group of faint stars. The stars seem to be pointing at the Selachi Mausoleum. If the map was right, the jewel was somewhere inside. Oh, that was nice. And that's why the mausoleum's been active this entire time. Am I recording yet? Good. That is, I've been a few times when I'm recording video and I forgot to turn OBS on. I used the astrolabe to see exactly where Two Conquer's map pointed. Wow, they really put a lot into this. Now keep in mind, Final Fantasy VII was on three discs. They seem to this be indicating a grotesque in the entrance chamber. They asked grotesque, all right. I don't know who thought it was tasteful to make carved statues that were part human and part mythical beast, but frankly, I, I thought am. they looked awful. You know, when I just down up my last god's evil in body, I, uh, my, my thought process was to, you know, the, uh, silly body serving at the American Surrey characters combined with the facial features of the Japanese furries and came up with something that looks almost exactly like a Thundercat. Uh, once again, I'm kind of chilling and looking at the... I couldn't do anything to the grotesque with that. Oh. Oh. I searched the grotesque carefully and concluded that it was a cover stone for something underground. I pushed it, opening up the crypt below. The stale air told me that this chamber hadn't been visited in hundreds of years. In the gloom, I could make out a single sarcophagus. I've got it. Watch the out. I couldn't move. On the sarcophagus was a circular indentation with a square peg coming out of it. Sound familiar? Kind of tempted to hand earlier. Mundy's coin fitted the indentation perfectly, and with it, I could easily turn the peg. There was a faint click. 
and the sarcophagus opened. Inside the sarcophagus was a suit of armor, grasping a glowing gem that could only be the radiant trapezohedron. I wasn't expecting the armor to burst into life, though. Thanks a lot. Four hundred years I wait for you to come and let me out. And the first thing you do is cut my arm off. It'll take ages to sew back on. I'm sorry. I just sort of acted reflexively. So you instinctively cut the arm off people you meet? If they come bursting out of a coffin, yes. It's a sarcophagus. A very nice sarcophagus. Donated to the order by some nice people. In Jelly Baby. And you're vitally impaired. <sighs> vitally impaired? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? Hmm? Call a spade a spade. A shovel a zombie. I'm a zombie. Right. If that's the way you want it, I need that jewel. I'm sure you do. But first, you must answer the riddle. And prove your worth. The riddle. <laughs> Are you? Zombies need the breeze. One. Mortal. Again, because they need the hair or something is through that rope in order to talk. I'm in a real hurry, and I need that jewel. Oh, please. I've been here for 400 years. Please let me ask the riddle. Make it fast. All right. What is... Uh... Oh. Bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, I forgot. One of my it. favorite English words. And... You've forgotten it? Well, it has been 400 years. Yeah, I got the half and ton. Ten years they're wanting to make you for see three. How good you are. the dollop. After four centuries. Especially when you got mice. Can I have the jewel or not? No. I have to ask the riddle. Hey, if I'm nice, he a zombie. Do the mice become zombies? If you're a follower of the dark cults. I guess I gotta talk to him. Let's Let me get this straight. You can tell if I'm a follower of the dark cults by whether or not I can answer a riddle. Absolutely. So how does that work, then? Are the forces of darkness incapable of answering riddles? <sighs> oh, I'm sure the gods would never allow the unworthy to gain control of this. <sighs> Interesting theory. Look, I need that jewel, and you're just going to have to find a way to give it to me. <sighs> The Order decided that we'd ask a riddle to determine the worthiness of anyone petitioning for the trapezohedron. I have to ask a riddle. Then I'll just get these to discuss in spite. They can look on the side of the sacod, but gives them to his eye. Cover's end is there. So I guess I'll answer after some the fountain. Look, I have the golden falchion. Surely that counts for something. 
Oh, I knew you had the sword. But that's no help. If you're on the side of darkness, and you have the falchion, then I definitely can't give you the jewel. How did you know I had the sword? I saw you coming in the jewel. Really? Did you see anything else? Oh, I've been watching the progress of the sword since I got here. In which case, you must have seen Mundy hide the sword in the crate and me recover it from Vault 51. Yes, I did. So, you saw me killed by Anu Anu. Oh, yeah. That big dog creature. How did you survive that, by the way? Carlotta had turned me into a werewolf. I thought it might be something like that. They never give you the whole story with those cliffhanger endings. I remember 200 years ago when I saw someone go off the cliff in a cart. Only it turned out he actually leapt clear at the last minute. I call that cheating. Anyway, did you see when Anu Anu summoned Nylon Athatep? Oh, I see. That's what the big cosmic horror was then. What did you think it was? Well, I thought it might just have been fog. The reception in here isn't very good. If you saw all that, you must know that I'm not with the forces of darkness. Hang on. You were there when this cosmic horror was summoned? Uh, yes. Then why didn't you stop it? I was being restrained. Come on, just give me the jewel. No can do. You saw me defeat Satrap, wasn't that enough? Didn't you hear what he said? No sound with the jewel, I'm afraid. You just get pictures. Do you know what's most ridiculous about this? If I was with the Dark Sect, I'd just use the sword to kill you and then just run off with the jewel. You know, that's a very good point. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Either give me the jewel freely, or I'll pretend I'm with the Dark Sects and I'll just take it. You're not leaving me many options. Jewel, please. Here you go. Put it right in his pocket. And may I say, I hope the next 400 years just fly by. I don't need to talk to him. Horst, I was wondering where you had got to. But then we have been engaged in similar pastimes. Luton. Elsa. As you can see, I have been forced to take more drastic action. I dislike having to take such radical steps, but since the untimely demise of Mr. Alkali, I no longer have the luxury of observing events from afar. Let her go, Horst. Let her go, Mr. Luton? You make it sound as if she is my prisoner. I am merely keeping her well protected against the more hostile elements of this wretched settlement. Let her go. That is precisely my intention, Mr. Luton. But first, you must fulfill your agreement with me. You want the sword. Indeed. You agreed to bring me the sword, and I'm here to collect. No deal, Horst. I need the sword to stop Nylon Athatep. Indeed. And what might that be, sir? It's a creature from the Dungeon Dimensions, and it's loose in Ankh Morpork. That's as maybe. It still doesn't change our agreement. You promised me the sword, sir, and I am here to collect. If I give you the sword, thousands will die. Oh, come now. The world is full of people. What are the lives of those insignificant specks? 
compared to our own desires. We, sir, are a breed apart from most people. We see what we want, and we take it. If a few tiny lights have to be extinguished to achieve our goals, then that is unfortunate. But it is of little consequence. We're not talking about a few lights. We're talking about a few thousand lights. Maybe hundreds of thousands. Then we will have to learn to live in the dark. I can't do it, Horst. Oh, dear. I thought wow, you were a getting man a good looking wood, Elsa. She it seems I was pretty. mistaken. Oh, I... Very well. Then I am forced to take more drastic action. I don't know how much pressure it would take from my fingers to suffocate the young lady here. And I'm not entirely sure that I wouldn't apply slightly too much pressure and snap her spine. However, you have forced me to experiment. Gluten! Oh. <coughs> All right, Horst. You win. Let her go. His fingers Excellent. are not even I on her neck. Reasoner, and I was right. I admire a man who is not so stubborn as to throw away what he values just for his stubborn pride. You've got what you wanted, now let her go! <laughs> I took Ilsa back to my office. What other choice did I have? I felt so stupid, giving Horst the sword and staying with Ilsa as the troll disappeared into the night's fog. But even if I'd tried to follow yeah, we never him, the married dark to somebody magenta else. stench of Nylonathotep drowned out every other scent in the city. There was nothing I could do. After we'd both calmed down, I told her everything that had happened. So Satrap was looking for two Conker's jewel. That jewel is known as the Radiant Trapezohedron. And I think it can save the city, but I have a nasty suspicion that we need this sword as well. The Radiant Trapezohedron. Yes, it never occurred to me that they would be the same. The descriptions of the Trapezohedron are vague at best. Satrap must have been trying to imminentize the Garunan Eshaton. Can you try that again without sneezing? The Garun and Eshaton is one of the many myths concerning the end of the disc world. It's very obscure. What's it about? It tells how some of the entities from the dungeon dimensions have been trapped around the disc world. Some in the lost city of Leshp, some in the heart of the Garuna Trench, some in places men don't even have names for. When the Eshaton occurs, they are supposed to be released from their captivity and destroy everything they can get their tentacles on. The usual thing. Well, Nylonathotep is loose. Maybe this Building is it. Maybe Diamonds. this is the end of everything. Maybe it's a good time to borrow lots of money. Luton, I... I heard you'd been killed. I saw your grave. I heal quickly. I left a letter by your graveside. I know. I saw it. I wrote it when I had to leave you all those years ago, but I never had the courage to send it to you. I didn't know how to tell you that I was married. To two conquerors. Yes, he needs me, Luton. He always did. And in a strange way, I need him too. He gave my life meaning. I had nothing before I met him. None of that matters anymore. You never told me how you felt. What's to tell? I was born when you kissed me, and I died when you left me. I lived a few weeks while you loved me. Of course, I also died when I got stabbed in the back, but you know, that wasn't nearly as painful. I'm sorry. I bet you never thought of me as a man who could fall in love. I never thought about you at all. I couldn't. If I had, it would have driven me mad. I thought about you every day until I'd drunk enough to forget. I let my life slide till there was nothing left to live for but uh, bitterness. Well, all that's going to change. I'm going to save am I going this to city have if to I have to die again you know? to do it. And I'm not going to do it for you. Or for me, or for the worthless people who live in it. I'm going to do it to prove for once and for all that I'm not the washed up loser everyone thinks I am. And if it turns out that I am, then everything will get destroyed and no one will know about it. So hey, from where I stand, there's no downside. What are you going to do? First of all, we have to find Horst. How? I have no idea. Uh, but I do. Oh, no, it's three. Uh, Is there something on his desk? Uh, well, I'm that way over here for some reason. Help, help. For an artifact of near unlimited power, the trepezahedron was surprisingly unimpressive. 
I peered deeply into the trapezohedron and I could see an image of horse with the golden sword. It looked like he was at the Maudlin Bridge. I took a few precautions and then headed down to the Maudlin Bridge to check it out. The image in the trapezohedron turned out to be right. Horst was at the Maudlin Bridge, and he wasn't alone. He and our mutual acquaintance seemed to be in some sort of dispute. What happened to our agreement, Horst? We were supposed to be working together. Really, madam? Then why was it that you arranged for Monday to sell the sword to you and you alone? Just because I didn't trust al Kali as a courier didn't mean I broke the agreement. And I suppose you're going to deny that you were involved in his death? I couldn't stop his death, but that doesn't mean I caused it. Doesn't it? What about you? It was you who set Malachite after me, wasn't it? I thought you might appreciate being reunited with your estranged brother. You sent him after me to try and slow me down. You are the betrayer among us, madam. Don't try and substitute me as the villain of the piece. Yes, I freed Malachite, and yes, I used him to slow down you and Mr. Luton. But you were the one who arranged his death. I didn't arrange his death. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you put him there. I'm not here to debate the details with you, Horst. Why are you here? Give me the sword. After all, I've risked to get hold of it. No, as soon as my launch arrives, I will be taking the sword away from this god's forsaken city. If you want, you can have a small share of the profits. I am not ungrateful for your assistance in this endeavor, but that is all I'm prepared to offer. Why, you miserable excuse for a troll? Oh, come now. I could snap your neck like a twig if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, because there's nothing to be gained from doing it. Listen, Horst. Either give me the sword, or kill me. Because one way or another, kind? I Starting won't allow you to leave town with the sword. As you wish. I didn't think of myself as a murderer. But I wasn't about to stand by and watch Horst try to kill Carlotta. It was over in a flash. I don't even know how it happened. He's better off dead. Is that all you can say about him? He was some kind of a troll. What does it matter what you say about trolls? What now? We have to get out of the city. Can't we stop it? It's too late for that. Right now, Nylon Athotep is opening a portal to the dungeon dimensions above the city. When it grows large enough, everything will be destroyed. I have the trapezohedron. Doesn't that help? It means Nylonathotep won't be powerful enough to destroy more than just the Circle C. And if we leave now, we can get away before the worst of the destruction. I'm not leaving the city. It's my home. It's not much of a home, but it's all I've got. You've got me, Luton. Come with me. I'll renounce the cult, and we can run free in the hills of Uberwald. It's not that I don't have feelings for you, Carlotta. I do. It's just that I don't trust you. You murdered your own brother. You'd have killed me if I'd got in the way. So what? So I'm no good. I'm no worse than anybody else. Think about it, Luton. You. Me. The wide-open spaces of Uberwald. Or you can stay here and die with the rest of the rabble. Don't be a fool, Luton. Join me. I can't. I'm sorry, Carlotta, but there's only one way this can end. You're turning me over to the watch? I'd like to be able to run away with you, turn my back on the city, and just escape it all. But face it, Carlotta, I'd be dead in a week. Thanks for coming, Nobby. Hey, what are friends for? Mrs. Carlotta von Uberwald? I'm arresting you for conspiracy, accessory to murder, attempted herbicide, and for being bloody stupid. You don't have to say anything, but if you say not guilty, we're liable to kill ourselves laughing. Oh, you'll regret this, Luton. Nothing's going to save you now. The only way to stop the destruction of the city would be to take the Falchion into the portal. And I hope you try. As he left, Vimes fixed me in his eyes, as if to say that this didn't make up for what I did all those years ago. But I didn't care about that. This wasn't about the past, it was about the future. I looked down at the hulking corpse of Jasper Horst in the river mud, and I wondered if I'd done the right thing. But life's too short for regrets, and if I didn't stop Nylon Athotep soon, it would be too short for a shot of whiskey, and that wasn't any sort of life I wanted. 
somehow, I had to get the Felchion into the portal before it was too late. Time was short. I had to reach that portal somehow. The question was, how? Then you're gonna, somebody just had something that I tried slime over the sunny way. Well, let's see, I could go try and talk to the wizard to have flying now. Free universe in a Dad. Um, well, the octarine pillock. Those bears will get to Bunny Island, and then somewhere between the gutter and the sky. The maiden is how many places I just feel up and up. Now, oh, here we go, let's go around. I don't know. Those that make the slime legs get more of the stuff on the screen. There it goes, folks. I'm gonna keep recording. There's. Yeah, it complete playthrough. I have just broke the law on React OS. Um. I'm gonna need to save this here, buddy. Sevens, just be on the safe side. Okay. That's it's one that's probably to go in. Oh, I do play thrill. You like us? Go and be around. Can numb this pretty quick, I think. The contraption that Leonard and two conquerors had been working on was my only chance. Well, it's finished. Now all we have to do is fly it. And I'm volunteering. Ah, hello again. You want to be the person in the seat that guides the device? I'm going to have to be. We still need somewhere long and flat to launch it from. I'll see what I can do. There wasn't much point. Now the Brightly's act is... There was debris scattered all over the roof. Yeah, it's... It didn't take me long to get the roof clear of rubble. I hope there was no one down below when it hit the ground. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, going back to the developers, um, for a moment, sir, where can we get another minute? We paid this guy quite a bit of money we needed to sell it out. Well, there's all those lines that we forgot to do earlier, now that's too long. Uh, and they'll just have an end most of with you. I've cleared the rubble off the roof. Can we launch this from there? It might just work. Give me a hand moving it out there and we'll see what happens. I don't know, this could be like another 20 minutes or so, and I don't really want that, so I'm gonna stop 